Hey there everybody. Today I'm heading out to Westport. I'm going to be doing some crab fishing. I'm going to be casting for them from a pier. I'm Brett and this is Peeling Line. Alright, so I'm out at Westport. I'm uh, using these using these Danielson castable crab traps. They're pretty easy to use. So straight out the packet, it's hooked up like this. You just gotta unwrap that part. So the way this works is uh, you attach your line right here, cast it out and it lands flat and then when you cinch the hook it closes the trap and the crabs get trapped in there. It's got this little, it's got this part right here that you can pull up and attach your bait on right there. I'm going to be using, I'm using some fish that I've got left over in my fridge um, for today. Some people use chicken and stuff, but last time I was out here I was fishing for sharks and they were really going after my bait and I even caught one Dungeness on a hook. So I'm gonna be using the fish I was using that day, which are mackerel and bonitas. So basically I just cast it out and wait five minutes and then check the trap. All right, it's been about five minutes, so I'm gonna reel it up and see what we got. Looks like we got one there. It looks like it might be a keeper. There we go. Actually, I think that's a male. All right, first keeper, first cast. These are six and a half. Just throw them in the bucket. So I got these big surf casting rods so it can get really far out there. It's about 30 feet where I'm casting, 30 feet deep. It's been about 10 minutes and I'm going to reel in again. So I went to my car to go and uh, get a pen for that last crab because I forgot mine and took a little, little longer than I expected there and come back. Trap is empty, bait is gone. So it don't take too long out there. One thing I did learn is you don't have to mark your crab cards down here. It's only a Puget Sound thing. Anyways. So I'll show you more about baiting this. So these are the baits I'm using. Indian mackerel, I get these from the Asian store. Just gonna break it in half. They're still frozen. It's okay, they'll thaw out there. 
and you just uh, stick it, impale it on this little hook thing here. I like to go through the skull. And then this one I just stick right through the middle so it's below the spine. And then there's this little pin here. And you slide it through like that. So it's all cinched down. And it closes up like that. And I'm gonna cast it out. All right, check out the rod tip. You, you can see it bouncing there. Usually that means there's crabs trying to pick at your bait. So I'm gonna take the opportunity to wind it up. Even though it's only been a couple minutes, I think uh, there might be some stuff on there. All right, there we go. Dungy and a rock, both look undersized. two here. Both males. Right there. I think this one's a bit too small. We're just gonna measure them now. Yeah, they're both too small, so I'm just gonna check them back. Oh yeah, here's a good haul. That one's a keeper. Very cool. There you go, six and a half inches. Actually, first female of the day. See the uh, bottom there, how it's different. I just had this one barely hanging on. I think it might be a keeper. Too small, but a good one. Oh, here's a big haul. Oh. I think they're all undersized again. Oh shit, he bit me. <laughs>
spiders. <laughs> Six? Yeah. They're trying to bite me. <laughs> Here, if you hold them properly, they don't bite. If you grab the back legs like this, they don't bite. But... Okay, let me take a picture of you with the guy. There you go. This is my third one. I got one in the, uh, tr the car already. But, uh, you're allowed to keep six, so three more. But they have to be uh, males. And how you know? It's this little thing right here. Yeah. The females, it goes out like that, huh. like a kind of a teardrop. Uh-huh. And the males are just like a point. Ooh. Actually, I'll, I'll show you in a picture. Right at this side. So you the, don't need to put water for them to be alive? Uh, no, they could be out of the water for half an hour. Ah. And actually, they'll suffocate if the water doesn't have oxygen. Ah. So, yeah, I'm going to... Probably in a few minutes, I'm going to take these back to my car because you can put them on ice and it'll um, slow their metabolism mm -hmm. and they won't die. So you cook them or you sell them? I cook them. How? I think you have to have a special license to sell the crabs. Uh, you just boil them for like five to ten minutes and eat it with butter, hot butter. Mm. I'm from the East Coast. We have uh, blue claws that are smaller oh, nice. and they have to be four inches to keep. Okay. They're a lot smaller than that. Yeah. I think the same rule applies for males only. Yeah. Well, the f makes sense, right? Yeah. Males are worthless ah. in today's society. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Might have some keepers here. Just shy. Well. And that's a female right there, but she'd be big enough. Keeper. It's male. It's a lot of work this. Been here for two hours. I got four keepers. I've hauled in that those rods so many times and uh, sweating it out. I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but yeah, it's pretty warm here like 80 degrees and uh, I'm working for it but I got four that's a couple good meals at my house it's not even taking that long it's like two minutes and the crabs are on it we've got an outgoing tide right now which isn't really the best everybody says fish the incoming tide but uh, hey fish when I can, not uh, when it's the best. There we go, two more. Also look under size. Alright, so I had to go get my water and it's dropping off a crab and there's a, not a wildlife officer, but there's a, um, one of the survey guys and it turns out that last one was actually two millimeters too small. Um, so 
He didn't give me a ticket, but he gave me a, a measuring tool. And I'll show you that in a second. Come on, you. Get off there. Oh, shit. All the baby crabs. All right, here's the package I got. So it's got a crab measuring device on here. I actually bought one and it's at home. Just forgot it today. It's always like that. A rush, and then it's like got this other stuff in here. European green crab. Is that a sticker or something? Oh yeah. Got a sticker there. I don't know what the rope is for. A lot of information stuff. And here's crab rules for Dungeness. Uh, rock crab. More information about green crabs and a guide to crabbing on the coast. There's also a card here with a QR code for reporting the green crabs. Well, that's pretty sweet. It's a pretty nice guy. Uh, he could have given me a ticket because that one was like two millimeters too short. Which, uh, you know, in my defense, I got this bump board and it's not easy measuring on there. But uh, whatever. Uh, I threw him back. He gave me this package. Dog got one of these. And uh, I'm going to try and finish getting that limit. Although this bait isn't looking too healthy. It got hot real quick and uh, the bait's starting to get to mush on me. So we'll see. But I got three good ones. Those ones were like way over. And then... Uh, so three more, or, or actually I'd be happy with one more, to be honest. Um, one more is two dinners. All right, may have a keeper here. Nope, too small. All right, camera wasn't going there, but uh, this hole might have one uh, keeper there. Both oh, just short. Well, this one's a female, anyways, but she's just short. Another female. Both were females. So I moved down to the end. A lot more comfortable here. There's a nice bench covered in bird shit. If you need to have a seat. But uh, it's supposed to be better for where the crabs are. There's a fish processing facility over there. And uh, that attracts all the crabs apparently. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I need three more. Uh, I'm not sure how long I'll stay. I've got uh, maybe two fish left. So maybe half an hour more.
I only got one I think is a keeper. Got a nice keeper here. There you go, number four. So I got that one casting actually back into the marina. Might be a good idea. Got keeper number five here. Well, yeah, that's five, five good ones. Um, I'll be here another 10 minutes and then I'm gonna pack up. That, that'll be three hours for me. So I didn't get a limit, but I got five good ones. Um, probably could have got one more if I had more bait, but I don't, I ran out. That was four pounds of fish I used. I think it was, like $12 worth of bait for five crabs. It's a good exchange. The Danielson uh, snares are, I think, $11 on Amazon. Definitely give those Bonitas a try for uh, bait. They're really good. Hopefully you like this video and it helps you out if you come out to Westport to get some crabs. Until next time.